Think Indonesian blue amber is softer than Dominican amber? Let's bust that myth. According to the GIA, the Gemological Institute of America, amber, no matter where it comes from, typically ranks between 2.0 and 2.5 on the Mohs hardness scale. That includes Dominican, Baltic, and yes, Indonesian blue amber. So where did this rumor come from? Some say Indonesian amber feels softer to the touch, but here's the truth. That feeling often comes from the finish, not the material itself. Many Indonesian pieces are hand-polished with a softer, wax-like surface to enhance the fluorescent glow under white and UV light. It's a choice of texture, not a sign of weakness. And get this. Indonesian amber is often older than Dominican amber, millions of years older. Older amber tends to be more polymerized, meaning it can actually be more stable and dense. Now yes, there are low-quality pieces in every region. Some sellers confuse copal, a younger, softer tree resin, for true amber. But that happens in both Indonesia and the Dominican Republic. So if you're comparing a poor quality Indonesian piece to a premium Dominican one, you're not comparing apples to apples. The science is clear. If it's real, fossilized amber, the hardness is roughly the same. What really matters is quality, age, and authenticity, not location. So no, Indonesian blue amber is not softer by default. It's just different in presentation and often more visually dramatic due to its rare blue fluorescence under sunlight and UV. Don't let the rumors fool you. Let the facts and the glow do the talking.